fall leaves, we love to peep them. But if your child asked you how leaves change color, could you explain it? I'm here to help. As fall rolls in and the days get shorter, trees, like we Canadians, start preparing for winter. But unlike us, they stop making food, which means they stop producing chlorophyll. That's what gives leaves their green color. When the green starts to fade, the other colors that have been hiding in the leaves all along start to appear. Which, to be honest, sounds a bit creepy. There are a couple of main players here. Carotenoids are pigments that give leaves their yellow and orange shades. You can remember this because carrot is a part of the name, although spelled wrong. These are always in the leaves, but you can't see them when the green from the chlorophyll is still there. Anthocyanins are pigments that bring out those beautiful reds and purples. These are actually made in the fall, triggered by the shorter days and cooler nights. So what makes leaves look brighter or duller? Number one, the weather. If you have warm sunny days and cool, but not freezing nights, you'll get those stunning bright reds and purples. The sunshine helps the leaves make sugars, which helps produce more of those anthocyanins that give you vibrant colors. On the flip side, if it's rainy, cloudy, or warmer than usual, the colors may look a bit muted. Too much rain or warmth means fewer anthocyanins, so the colors aren't as bold. The type of tree makes a difference too. Different trees show off different colors. For example, maples often turn a brilliant red while oaks are more likely to go brown. And finally, there's the soil quality. Healthier trees, often because they're in good soil, tend to have more vibrant colors. So basically the changing colors have everything to do with the tree getting ready for winter. And how bright or dull those colors are depends a lot on the type of tree, the soil, and of course, the weather.